Math 6 Quarter 1 Week 7 Milk Base Let's learn about Division of Whole Numbers and Decimal Numbers Lesson 1 Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about division of whole numbers and decimal numbers. This is lesson 1 of week 7. For most essential learning competencies, divide whole numbers by decimals up to two decimal places and vice versa. After going through this module, you are expected to divide whole numbers by decimals up to two decimal places and vice versa and mix decimals up to two decimal places. The word decimal comes from the Latin word decima, meaning tenth part. Although we are using different notation, we are still considering the non-negative rational numbers. Division of decimals, just like multiplication, can be done using either the fraction method or the decimal method. Example, divide 49 by 7 tenths. Step 1, always make the divisor a whole number. Since it is one decimal place, multiply the divisor to 10. At the same time, multiply the dividend by 10. 49 divided by 7 tenths. So 49 is the dividend and the divisor is 7 tenths. The divisor has one decimal place. Make this as a whole number. We can multiply the divisor to 10. Like, 7 tenths times 10 equals 7. And at the same time, multiply the dividend by 10. Times 10 equals 490. So, it will going to be like this. 490 divided by 7. Step 2. Divide the numbers. 490 divided by 7. First, divide 49 by 7. 49 divided by 7 equals 7. 7 times 7 equals 49. Then 49 minus 49 equals 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 7 equals 0. 0 times 7 equals 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. Therefore, 49 divided by 7 tenths is 70. 70 is the quotient. Step 3. Check. Multiply 70 by 7 tenths. 70 times 7 tenths equals 49. The product has one decimal place since there is only one decimal place. And now, let us do learning task 1. Find the quotient and check. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. 208 divided by 8 tenths. Since the divisor has only one decimal place, move the decimal point 1 to the right. It will going to be like this. 208 divided by 8. Then add 0 to the dividend. 2080 divided by 8. Now, divide 20 by 8. 20 divided by 8 equals 2. 2 times 8 equals 16. Then 20 minus 16 equals 4. Bring down 8. 48 divided by 8 equals 6. 6 times 8 equals 48. 48 minus 48 equals 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 8 equals 0. 0 times 8 equals 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. So the quotient is 260. It is a whole number. Number 2. 355 divided by 5 tenths. First, move the decimal point of the divisor 
one step to the right. So it will going to be like this. Add zero to the dividend. So we read this as 3,550 divided by 5. Now let's divide 35 divided by 5 equals 7. 7 times 5 equals 35. 35 minus 35 equals 0. Bring down 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 1 times 5 equals 5. 5 minus 5 equals 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 5 equals 0. 0 times 5 equals 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. So the quotient is 710. It is a whole number. Number 3. 312 divided by 6 tenths. Move the decimal point of the divisor one step to the right. This is the result. Add 0 to the dividend. It is read as 3120 divided by 6. 31 divided by 6 equals 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. 31 minus 30 equals 1. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 2 times 6 equals 12. 12 minus 12 equals 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 6 equals 0. 0 times 6 equals 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. So the answer or the quotient is 520. It is a whole number. How is division done with decimals? How do we divide decimals or mix decimals by decimals? These are the steps in order to divide mixed decimals by decimals. Step 1. Make the divisor a whole number by multiplying it by 10 or just move the decimal point one decimal place to the right to make the divisor a whole number. So to make the divisor a whole number, multiply it by 10. 5 times 10 equals 5. Or just move the decimal point one decimal place to the right to make the divisor a whole number. So this is the result. 25 hundreds divided by 5. Step 2. Multiply 25 hundreds by 10 also or move the decimal point in the dividend as many places as in the divisor. For the dividend, multiply it by 10. 25 hundreds times 10 equals 2 and 5 tenths. Or just move the decimal point one decimal place to the right. So this is the result. 2 and 5 tenths divided by 5. Note, what we do with the divisor, we do the same to the dividend. So that means the divisor and the dividend are multiplied by 10. For step 3, divide just like whole numbers. Put the decimal point of the quotient just above the decimal point of the dividend. So put the decimal point of the quotient just above the decimal point of the dividend. Now let's divide. 2 divided by 5 equals 0. 0 times 5 equals 0. 2 minus 0 equals 2. Bring down 5. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. 25 minus 25 equals 0. So the quotient is 5 tenths. And then for step 4, check. Multiply the quotient and the divisor like multiplying whole number. Put the decimal point in the product as same number of decimal places in the quotient. So multiply the quotient. 5 tenths times 5 equals 5 times 5 equals 25. Put the decimal point with one decimal place. So the answer is 2 and 5 tenths. In dividing decimal or mixed decimal by decimals, we have to use the following steps. First, change the divisor to a whole number by moving the decimal point to the rightmost place or multiply it by 10 if only one decimal place or 100 if two decimal places. Second, move the decimal point in the dividend to as many places as the decimal point in the divisor is moved or multiply it also by 10 or 100. Note, 
What we do with the divisor, we do the same to the dividend. And third, insert zeros to the dividend when needed. And now, let's do learning task 2. Divide the following and check. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. 81 hundreds divided by 9 hundreds. To make the divisor as a whole number, move the decimal point two step to the right. 1. 2. What we do with the divisor, we do the same to the dividend. Move the decimal point two step to the right. 1. 2. So this is the result. 81 divided by 9. Let's divide. 81 divided by 9 equals 9. 9 times 9 equals 81. 81 minus 81 equals 0. So the quotient is 9. Number 2. To make the divisor as a whole number, move the decimal point two step to the right. 1, 2. Do the same to the dividend. 1, 2. So this is the result. 72 divided by 3. 7 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. 7 minus 6 equals 1. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. 12 minus 12 equals 0. So the result or the quotient is 24. Number 3. 96 hundreds divided by 12 hundreds. First, to make the divisor as a whole number, move the decimal point two step to the right. Do the same to the dividend. This is the result. 96 divided by 12. 96 divided by 12 equals 8. 8 times 12 equals 96. 96 minus 96 equals 0. So the quotient is 8. Number 4. 96 hundreds divided by 16 hundreds. To make the divisor as a whole number, move the decimal point two step to the right. Do the same to the dividend. And this is the result. 96 divided by 16 equals 6. 6 times 16 equals 96. 96 minus 96 equals 0. So the quotient is 6. Number 5. 63 hundreds divided by 21 hundreds. Move the decimal point two step to the right. Do the same to the dividend. This is the result. 63 divided by 21 equals 3. 3 times 21 equals 63. 63 minus 63 equals 0. The quotient is 3. And for number 6, 49 hundreds divided by 7 hundreds. Move the decimal point two step to the right. Do the same to the dividend. And this is the result. 49 divided by 7 equals 7. 7 times 7 equals 49. 49 minus 49 equals 0. And the quotient is 7. For learning task 3, solve the problem carefully by answering the questions below. Use the fourth step in solving word problems. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. In science class, Miss Alcaldi had 30 and 6 tenths pounds of igneous rocks. She divided equally by weight into 9 different containers. How many pounds of rocks will be in each container? First is to understand the problem. What is as in the problem? The pounds of rocks in each container. What are the given facts? The given facts are 30 and 6 tenths pounds and 9 different containers. Second step is to plan. What operation to be used? The operation to be used is division. And what is the number sentence? The number sentence is 30 and 6 tenths pounds divided by 9 different containers. Step 3 is to solve. Solution. 30 and 6 tenths pounds divided by 9 equals? The answer is 34. For letter B, write the answer. Therefore, there will be 3 and 4 tenths pounds of rocks in each container. And step 4 is to check and look back. Multiply the quotient and the divisor. 3 and 4 tenths times 9 equals 
30 and 6 tenths. Number 2. A fisherman caught 15 and 45 hundreds kilograms of fish. He distributed the fish equally among his five family members. How many kilograms did each family member get? First step is to understand the problem. What is us in the problem? The kilograms of fish will get by each family. And what are the given facts? The given facts are 15 and 45 hundreds kilograms and 5 family members. Step 2 is to plan. What operation to be used? The operation to be used is division. And what is the number sentence? 15 and 45 hundreds kilograms divided by 5 family members. Step 3 is to solve. Solution. 15 and 45 hundreds divided by 5. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 3 times 5 equals 15. 15 minus 15 equals 0. Bring down 4. 4 divided by 5 equals 0. 0 times 5 equals 0. 4 minus 0 equals 4. Bring down 5. 45 divided by 5 equals 9. 9 times 5 equals 45. 45 minus 45 equals 0. Next, write the answer. Each family get 3 and 9 hundreds kilograms of fish. And to check and look back, multiply the quotient, which is 3 and 9 hundreds, times the divisor, 5. 3 and 9 hundreds times 5 equals 15 and 45 hundreds. Number 3. Marie would like to pour 3 and 5 tenths liters of fresh milk equally into 7 bottles. How many liters of fresh milk each bottle contains? First is to understand the problem. What is us in the problem? The liters of fresh milk each bottle contains. What are the given facts? The given facts are 3 and 5 tenths liters of fresh milk and 7 bottles. Step 2 is to plan. What operation to be used? The operation to be used is division. And what is the number sentence? The number sentence is 3 and 5 tenths liters divided by 7 bottles. Step 3 is to solve. The solution is 3 and 5 tenths divided by 7 equals 3 divided by 7 equals 0. 0 times 7 equals 0. 3 minus 0 equals 3. Bring down 5. 35 divided by 7 equals 5. 5 times 7 equals 35. 35 minus 35 equals 0. Write the answer. Each bottle contains 5 tenths liters of fresh milk. Step 4 is to check and look back. Multiply the quotient and the divisor. 5 tenths times 7 equals 3 and 5 tenths. For learning task 4, choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter in your notebook. Number 1. What is the quotient when 294 and 45 hundreds is divided by 1 tenths? A. 294 and 45 hundreds. B. 2,944 and 5 tenths. C. 29,445. And D. 294,450. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, 2,944 and 5 tenths. Number 2. What is 59 and 39 hundreds divided by 1 thousands equal to A. 593,900 B. 59,390 C. 5,939 D. 593 and 9 tenths. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, 59,390. Number 3. How many times greater is 6 and 45 hundreds than 1 hundreds? A. 645 thousands. B. 6 and 45 hundreds. C. 64 and 5 tenths. And D. 645. What is the correct answer? 
Very good! The correct answer is letter D, 645. Number 4. What will be the answer if we divide 819 thousands by one hundreds? A. 819 thousands. B. 8 and 19 hundreds. C. 81 and 9 tenths. D. 819. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. 8 and 19 hundreds. And for number 5, what is the quotient if we divide 54 hundreds by 1 tenths? A. 5 and 4 tenths. B. 54. C. 540. D. 5400. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. 5 and 4 tenths. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!